Hey coaches, here's a look at our trap play. We're going to go through our, our short trap and our long trap. Our base way of running it is short trap, which I'll, I'll go through short and long in a minute here, and you'll see some game clips. But uh, this is a midline play. It's our go-to interior play. We do like to dress up the trap with rocket motion behind it. Okay, you could also run jet motion. You could also fake okay, rocket sweep, or you don't even have to use motion. You could just line up and go. All right, so... We're gonna dress this up off of, uh, dress this with rocket action, okay? So basically why we prefer it over rocket action is because it's a deeper motion, it's a little bit longer motion, and you kind of get more of a horizontal stretch, which means since it's deeper and longer motion, more eyes will be locked on it. But again, jet, jet motion's fine with this too. All right, so once the motion player is behind our two back, that's when we want the ball, okay, snapped. So as soon as the quarterback doesn't see this three in his peripheral vision, that's when he starts his cadence. And the motion timing will have to be altered to fit your team's, you know, your team's physical ability, their age, and all that. However, you're doing your line splits. So, you know, the motion timing has to be worked out yourself. Now, when we're getting an even front, um, I'm sorry, an odd front, which means essentially the guards, um, the center's covered. All right, so we will double that. Okay, we'll get a deuce on this nose. You can have them combo off to the backside, outside linebacker. We don't because you have to get this kid moved. If the center anchors here, you're going to kind of run into a wall. So you, you really have to double team him. And don't be scared to have this kid cheat his split down to one foot so he can engage in that double team sooner. Okay, because we're two foot line splits. So, you know, a lot of times the center will step. And then his guard will be a step or two behind just because he's wider. So you could bring these splits down a little bit for your um, the double team player guard. Okay, so your guard and center, you could bring the right guard split down. So that's a little coaching tip if you want to do that. All right. So we our rules on trap. We are block. We are trapping the first defender outside of our guard. So in this case, it's this defensive tackle. All right. So our right tackle. He is going right to the middle linebacker. We do not want to touch this kid. We want to dip, rip through, come underneath. Okay, we want to cross his face. If you can't cross his face and he's really shooting, that's fine. You could just kind of come behind him. But it's, it's you know, the timing might be a little off. But make sure you teach this kid to cross his face. Don't touch this kid. And we're going right to the middle linebacker. Okay, we're going to insert for the will linebacker here. We're going to stalk block here. Or you could just stock block, or you could just run off. It's whatever you want to do. All right. So our left guard is going to pull. He is going to kick out. His aiming point is the inside hip of this tackle. He's kicking out. And this tight, this pull path needs to be very tight, okay? When he's pulling for his trap block, he can't stand up, then step. Okay, he can't take a step into the backfield, then pull. He's just going to open his hips and go right off the butt of this double team. Aiming point is the inside hip of that defender, and he's going to drive him out, okay? This kid, oops, sorry. We're not worried about this kid because he will be influenced by motion. Even if he's not, he's not going to impact the play. Now, our left tackle is going to step down. He is replacing the left guard. Our tight end is going to step down. He is replacing the left tackle, okay? But um, you could also have him just try to work to cut off the outside linebacker. All right, so you could do that. Now. Oops. Here, 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 here. Okay. Now, two back. Okay, our full back. His aiming path is right down the midline. Okay, he's aiming right at the butt of the center, and he's gonna cut right behind the kick out block, and then right outside of the, the block on the middle linebacker by a right tackle. So he's downhill. Initial aiming point is the butt of the center. He's gonna bang it out a little bit. And then look to slice it inside of the right tackle's block on the mic and the kick out. Okay, you kind of want to hit that little window right here. Now, quarterback, important coaching points here. He needs to take his left foot, swing it across, and then hand off. Okay, the quarterback has to get off of the midline. So if he just half turns here, the two the fullback's path is going to be off. He needs to clear himself out so the two back could pretty much. Just get downhill right where the quarterback was. So here's his left foot. He's going to take that left foot, step off the midline, and be like right here when he hands the ball off. 
so that it gives the two back a clear path. And then if you're running trap to the left, because I don't have this drawn up to the right. If you're running trap left, he would take his right foot and then um, step and hand up. All right. So you need a great fake from this uh, rocket action player. Make sure he fakes it. Quarterback open up with his left foot to step off the midline. And then it also helps sell rocket fake because it looks like he's opening up to the motion and going to toss it. All right. So he's going to take the snap, take that left foot, get off the midline, hand off, and then kind of fake rocket action. All right. That's trap versus odd front. Let's go trap versus even front. I'm also going to go through long trap. Okay. Where we'll trap the widest defensive player. So it'll be a DN that we're kicking out. So it's just, it's just another adjustment. You'll see on the game film, sometimes we'll kick out against the 6 2. Sometimes we'll kick out this kid just because it's easier and we have better angles and we kind of want to run at that gap. And it does change the path of the running back. But regardless, Regardless, okay, we're going to kick out the first defender past the center. So in this case, it's it's this tackle, okay? So we're going to pull. We're going to kick right off, right out off the butt of the center. And keep in mind, too, that when you have an A-gap defender you're kicking out, all right, it's a shorter pull path. So it's even more critical that this kid takes a tight pull path. Now our right guard is going to go right to the mic because we are trapping him. We don't want to trap our kickout player. We're going to step. We're going to base this kid out. We're going to go block him. He's going to stalk block, or you could have him run off. It's whatever you want to do. We just have him stalk block. We're going to arc. We're going to try to get this linebacker. Let's move this kid in here. We're going to step. We're going to base this end. All right, so now nothing changes. Two backs right up the midline, and then we're banging it back in. All right, so, you know, it's a little bit shorter pull path for the guard. Just going to step off the midline and hand off. It's a little shorter pull path for the guard, but uh, still a nice look. Okay, kick him out. The right guard's going to go right to this mic. Motion will probably influence all of these kids. All right, this kid will fly out. This kid will fly out. This kid will fly out. So, but let's draw this a little better. We don't want to touch this kid, so we want to avoid him and then work to kind of seal off in the hole. Um, this left tackle does have a tough block here on this kid. All right, if he if he misses him, don't chase him, just work back. All right, so that's trap versus the even front, and um, take a look at some game film.